strange. Especially since it was in a basket. But. Gotta learn to expect the unexpected. Oops. Blue soil everywhere. Oh yeah. Got the, some brick here. Very odd. Have to check and make sure I didn't move the over out of the screen there. Huh, yeah, it's straight dry. <clears throat> Interesting. There's still lots of roots in there, even though it's dry. See, this side's all wet. That's so weird. Hmm. Yeah, it's wet all the way inside here. <clears throat> this part's all wet too. Oh, that's either a giant root or a dry spot. Ooh, 90 degree root. Ooh, look at that root. It's not a square root, it's just a 90 degree root. spot there. Poor thing. Jeez, didn't look like that much soil when I <clears throat> took it out of the basket. <laughs> root system stayed really radial in that basket. Look at that. Very nice. Well, at least the soil just falls apart. <clears throat> I don't have to fight it too much. Wow, so quite the root system. Lots of new roots off of all the stuff I cut the last time. Oops. Take the top off again. It's a big dry spot in there. So strange. Okay. That should do it. <clears throat> Let me just spritz everything here. Now, take a look at that root system. It's not too shabby. Look at that. What 
it's amazing. All right. So what I'll do. Yeah, that looks really nice. What I'll do is my old pruners out. And we're going to keep all the radial stuff and cut off anything that's hanging down. Oh, I need to use it. Whoa! I'll just use the scissors. It's all small stuff anyway. There's one big one hanging down. But all the rest are small. That's good. There we go. With my own fingers. There we go. Wow. We just need some more development on this side. <clears throat> and we'll be rocking. It's not too shabby. All right, let's get rid of this 90 degree root. Pick my scissors while I'm at it. I think they're old used scissors. They're going straight up. Those can come off. This one's going beyond straight up. These can come off. You guys can see all that? Oh, heck yeah. This one's going backwards. I'm trimming this root specifically because it's the largest one there so I want to take some of the vigor out of it without removing it because um, I really like it so there that's how it is look at that it's going straight up get out of there Really like it. And there's a hundred coming off of here. We're going to take a few of them off. Take these off. There, that should zap a bit of vigor out of it. That will do. I'm going to cut this one back. There. Now there. Oui. What's next? Um, straight up. Gone. No, oh, this one's kind of in an odd place. Gone. 
No, this one's going all over the place. Let me see. Oh, I can fix it. I can fix it. Those can go. That one. Let's run up around this <clears throat> neat little monkey leaf, uh, root leaf. Jeez. So I'm thinking about the snow we're supposed to have tonight. Can you believe it? Snow. <laughs> so I've got this really neat looking, um, jagged root here that most people would cut off but i really like it so i'm keeping it and there's a bunch of roots growing underneath that i'm actually going to cut off most people would keep the underneath one but not me get out of there there take that and that and that there, all right. Oh, there's a whole whack of roots here. I can get rid of some of the lower ones. Mm. I like this funky one, but I got to get rid of it. And there's a whole bunch together here. There's two side by side right here. But this upper one kind of doesn't glow like the lower one does so I'm going to take it off oh and there's another little one underneath that can replace it how about that that's convenient okay now the end goes up so I'm just going to cut it back to where it doesn't go up can stay that can stay uh, there's 50 little ends coming off that end and we'll just cut that whole part off hopefully you guys are seeing what I'm doing I should bring you in a bit closer here zoom there maybe that'll help because <clears throat> I'm going rather quickly I figure everybody does the the root works so ah, now this one keeps wanting to go at an odd angle i think i'm just going to take it off there's a bunch of other ones there and then it won't interfere with my nice root hopefully i get a nice root like these three over on this side that'd be nice um there's some hanging down under here i'll take off there's some weird ones here I'll take off. Uh, this one's going up. Take that off. There's another weird one here I'll take off. Get under there. Get off. Get out of there. Shoo. Um, all these ones hanging down can go. There's one under here that can go. One under here that can go. There's a long one here. <clears throat> ah! Get. Oh, missed one under here. That can go. Ah, what else? So there's some that are growing straight up here. Let's get those out of there. And some crossing ones. I'll take this weird angled one off. This upper one off. There we go. And this one off. There. That I can bring back down. This one can go. There. That's much prettier. Yeah, there. Stinking straight up root. So these two are going to cross. Mm. 
Oh, we didn't see that. This stuff off. And we'll go. And this stuff off. All right, where are we? We're over here. Now these all start to go. There's a bug. There's a bug. I swear there's a bug. Okay, these all start to go up. So let's take these puppy ones off. There's a 90 degree weird one here we'll take off. Um, I'd like a root here, but I guess I can move that one around. Now we get into these thinner roots. Let's turn this so the roots on the bottom don't interfere with the roots on the top so you can see what's going on. <clears throat> Okay, so that one goes down nice, but these two go upwards. So we'll get those out of there. And there's two here that crispy cross. We'll get that bottom one out. Keep the top one. Just like that. Uh, I've got one here that's oh it comes from way down at the bottom, so we'll take that one off. Whoa, and fling it all the way across the trailer. Uh this juts off really strangely and it's thick, so we'll take that off. Yeah. All right. How's that look? There. There. Now it looks more like a little spider there we go sorry you couldn't even see it how mean am i thin and wiry like it used to be okay strip this again come on spicy thing So I'm going to um, <clears throat> get rid of this mess and set myself up with the new pot and the soil and I'll come back. All right, <clears throat> you guys have seen before, well those that have been watching, have seen before how I use paper towel to initially hold the soil in. Now the paper towel rots away very quickly. <clears throat> You can see in this basket here, it's completely gone. This was also covered in paper towel. And it's just initially to hold the soil in there. So I'm going to use that cactus and succulent mix. I'm going to see how it does over winter in the house. But I'm going to add some extra perlite to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this bag. it right in the bag. We have electric heat in our place. I can't get anything else installed. 
So everything dries up so quickly. Even though the humidity is high, the pots, even the aquariums evaporate quickly. Which I don't have too many of anymore. Okay. I can mix it more in the container if I need to. It looks okay, eh? Let's see how it goes in there. I can always add more once it's in here. Let's get that worked around. those in the bags that's just to add weight <laughs> well, I got to the very bottom there's not much in there so add a little bit more mix it right there There we have it. So a whole bag of that cactus and succulent mix isn't quite enough. <laughs> That's funny actually. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> open up my other bag. I'm going to have to go buy some more tomorrow, I guess. I still haven't found any different kinds of practice and supplement mix. This is still the only kind I've found. So I haven't been able to compare brands to see if it's any better or worse. This stuff gets pretty swampy when, uh, when it's wet. I mean, it's good for some plants, but not really good for cactus and succulents. seem to dictate a different front than the front I had, eh? I mean, they'll grow. I'll still go using the the front of uh, of the tree itself. Wow. Nifty. So the roots seem to be weaker on my tree's front and that might be why the Hail Mary branches died or well it's still green I can't say it's dead but maybe why they haven't restarted growing so the front of the actual tree is somewhere around here. I 
which isn't the nicest part of the roots, but I mean, there's lots growing out there. I'm sure it'll uh, thicken up at some point. But if I use the nicest part of the roots, I'm basically looking at the back of the tree. Doesn't that always happen? Isn't that the way it's supposed to be? Even this part of the roots is quite nice. <laughs> yeah. There's a nice flare there. That's pretty cool. But still not um still not too close to the actual front for my tree. Oh well. Win some lose some. So my front is somewhere here. Yeah. This way. So that's about my front. I mean, fronts change, but... So it's definitely not the best for roots, but we got lots growing. I'm sure it'll come. I'm sure it will be just fine. <clears throat> so I'm just going to spread everything out, make sure everything goes downhill here. Cut this root off because I don't need one going wild, wild west over there. Yeah, that looks good. Well mounded. Uh, it'll sweeten it up, probably, eh? Compared to what it was before. Yeah, that looks nice and straight. All right, let's fix these roots again. Cut this one off. Seems like I just did that. Twice. Twice! Very nice, very nice. Oops, missed. I missed. All right. I don't have any of my watering apparatus in here. I'll um, bring them in the house and I'll water them there. And there aren't much roots underneath to have to dig down into. They're all pretty much up at the surface. We're crooked. We're a little crooked. There we go. Forward and backward crooked. Looks okay.
holy guacamole, these baskets hold a lot of soy. Especially when you're just buying them in the little bags. This cactus mix came in bigger bags. But where I live, bagless can't be choosers. Okay, I think that'll do her. There we have it. One newly planted tree. Oh boy, I have to get the vacuum up here. Out here, I mean. Uh, oops, wrong way. There we go. All right. So that's our newly planted tree, which you've already seen spins of when I first did it. I don't have the turntable under there. And I'm too lazy to put it under there, so that's it i don't know what i'll do next now i guess i'll have to bring a bunch of these in the house and water them to make room yeah thanks for watching everybody be safe out there